First, we're going to start by writing our name on the shiny side of our paper. Notice how one side is shinier than the other. The side that is not shiny, we are going to paint on. So write your name in pencil on the shiny side. Don't forget to write your class code below your name. Then we're going to flip it over and draw the shape of our flower with pencil. We are going to try to draw our flower big so that it takes up all the space in our artwork. I'm going to start mine by drawing a circle in the center of my paper for the center of the flower. Notice that I am drawing lightly with my pencil and barely pressing down on it. If I press hard on my pencil, my lines will be dark and hard to erase. So draw light until you get it right. Next, I'm drawing the shape of my petals. For my flower, I am making the petals have rounded ends, so my petals are in the shape of a big upside down letter U. For your flower, you can choose a different petal shape if you'd like. Remember to draw big and keep your shape simple. We are going to paint over the drawing so the bigger your petals are, the easier it will be to fill with paint. Notice how I am turning my paper as I draw my petal shapes. That way I can fill in the entire area around the center of my flower. I'm also drawing part of the petal shapes when I only have a little bit of room. These petals look like they're behind the other petals since we can only see part of them. Once your flower is drawn, then you're ready to outline the pencil lines with oil pastel. I'm going around my shapes a few times to make my oil pastel really show up. You can choose any colors that you like, but I am choosing orange for the center of my flower and purple for the petals. Notice how I am just outlining the petals and not coloring them in. We're going to paint the rest of our flower, so we want to leave room on our paper for the paint. Once you're done outlining, then you're ready to paint. Make sure you have a messy mat under your artwork, a water cup, paintbrush, and your paints. We will be using liquid tempera paints and they are inside these little cups. Make sure you keep the lid somewhere safe so that you can put it back on when you're done. Now these paints are liquid so we don't need to add any water to make them work. We do need our water for cleaning our brush when we switch colors. We want the paints in the cups to stay nice and clean for other artists to use, so we are not going to be mixing any colors inside the cups. I am painting orange on the center of my flower and trying to fill in the entire space. If you can see the white of your paper through the paint, just layer a little more paint on top so that it is less see-through. Now that I am done with orange, I need to clean my brush before I new use a new color. With temper paints, we really have to rinse off our brush to get all of the paint off. You can also gently wipe the bristles of your brush on the edge of the water cup to get the extra water off. Next, I'm going to paint with pink around the center of my petals. I want my petals to fade from pink to purplish blue, but you can paint your petals however you'd like. You are the artist. Remember to rinse your brush when you switch to a new color, like I did here before I started using purple. Now with blue, I'm finishing the petal shape and painting the ends and following the shape I drew with the paintbrush to make it stand out. Notice how the blue is covering the purple and the pink that I painted before. I'm going to go back after and blend them together more. When you paint with temper paints, you have to work in layers to allow for the paint to dry. You can always add more color to an area or blend something in more when it has dried a little bit. Now that I have painted all the petals blue, I'm going back with the pink and blending it into the blue paint so that it looks like my petals are fading from one color to the other. I'm also adding some pink at the ends of my petals to make them stand out. Now I'm making the center of my flower a little bit bigger so that it stands out and I'm also going to add some dots to show texture. To make dots on your flower, you can use the end of your paintbrush to stamp dots onto your painting. Just gently dip your brush into the paint and tap it onto your paper. When you're done, make sure you wipe off the end of your paintbrush if you've used it to make dots and that all the paint containers have their lids back on them. We don't want any of the lids falling off and the paint to spill. 
Make sure you bring your painting with your messy mat underneath to the drying rack to dry. I hope you had fun working on your flower painting. I can't wait to see how it turns out.